scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your souls. Hey guys, it's Necromus here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another Injustice 2 topic video. Now, today the topic video is going to be about guest characters, and I know that's kind of a taboo thing amongst some people. Um, get over it, because it's pretty well confirmed that guest characters are going to be in Injustice 2, if you didn't know that already. In a recent interview, here's what Ed Boon had to say about guest characters in Injustice 2. I always think there's a novelty to it, and there's a certain amount of people who think that when they see a guest character that it took the slot of a DC character that they wanted to have, Boone said. But you know, Scorpion and Injustice was the most downloaded of all characters. There was a coolness and a novelty factor to seeing the mixing of the things. Alien and Predator in Mortal Kombat X were the most downloaded of those, so I would be surprised if we didn't do any of that in Injustice 2, he continued. And if you didn't know, Freddy Krueger was also the highest selling DLC back in Mortal Kombat 9. So for every game they've used guest characters, they've been the highest selling character. Now that means two things, it's going to make NetherRealm Studios money, so why not? And like a lot of people who play the games obviously do want guest characters. Now I know there's a lot of hardcore fans that'll probably chew me apart for saying this in the comments, but you know, statistics don't lie. If three games that had guest characters and the highest selling characters in those three games were all guest characters, it means people want them and that people are going to buy them. So I mean, I can see guest characters, I know guest characters are going to be in Injustice 2. I just, I have a good feeling. Now back in the first Injustice, we got Mortal Kombat icon Scorpion, because Ed Boon obviously is a creator of Mortal Kombat. Scorpion, and it's the icon of the series, so why not put him in? He worked out well, and he sold a lot. So what I think they're going to do for Mortal, er, sorry, not Mortal Kombat, for Injustice 2 is I think they're going to add Sub-Zero. Now it's pretty obvious, I mean, he's like the, you know, the rival to Scorpion, he's the other icon of Mortal Kombat. It makes sense to put him in there. If, if it's not Sub-Zero, I mean, I, I can see Raiden maybe being one to hype up Mortal Kombat 11 after that comes out, because he's going to be playing a very big role in Mortal Kombat 11 as he does in every Mortal Kombat. But I can see it either being Raiden or Sub-Zero because they're two characters that are highly recognizable throughout the Mortal Kombat games and for anybody who knows of the Mortal Kombat games. And they both have like a very superhero feel to them, like, you know, the superpowers, you know, all that stuff. They would work in Injustice like Scorpion did. Now, uh, uh, other than the Mortal Kombat characters, other guest character I can see being in this game is Spawn. Now, you probably have heard of Spawn. Um, there was a lot of speculation that he was going to be DLC as a guest character in Mortal Kombat X because Todd McFarlane, the creator of Spawn, said in an interview that he had given the rights to Ed Boon and the team to put him in Mortal Kombat X. Now that obviously never happened, so what I'm thinking is maybe at this point uh, Ed Boon and the team had already had their guest characters planned out for Mortal Kombat X, which in Jason, Leatherface, Predator, and Alien, so they thought, well, hey, Spawn is from comics, you know, why don't we put him in with the Injustice crew in the next game? So obviously they'd have to dull him down a bit since he's kind of a gory character. Scorpion is also a gory character and they managed to make him work in Injustice, so it's clearly not an issue. And I mean, I'm personally, I'm not a huge fan of Spawn, but I know some people are. I think he would fit well in Injustice 2. I mean, he wouldn't be my first pick, but he's one of the probable ones in my mind. Now, tricky thing about Injustice 2 with guest characters is I don't really know who they would choose. We only had one guest character to go off of in these universes. It's pretty obvious they're not going to go with horror characters like Mortal Kombat was doing because it just doesn't fit. Um, I can see them doing other comic characters like maybe Hellboy even, but I don't know because I don't think they're going to be getting rights to Marvel characters and as cool as I think it would be to see Hulk and like Spider-Man and stuff in Injustice, I just don't know if it would work because DC and Marvel are the main competitors. See me, I don't know. But then again, if you look at it, Warner Brothers is who uh, publishes these games, and they brought in Alien and Predator, who are 20th Century Fox characters. Who 20th Century Fox is kind of their rival. So maybe they'll look past it, maybe we'll get some Marvel guest characters. But to be honest, I really don't know what kind of guest characters to expect in Injustice 2. Um, I think Star Wars character, honestly, I do think that like having like Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader or something would be neat. I mean, there's a lot of things they can do for guest characters in Injustice 2. Um, I think it could work, work out really well. 
Let me know in the comments below what guest characters you think should be in the game. Now, I don't want a lot of guest characters in this game simply because the DC Universe is a very, 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 very big universe full of amazing great characters they can pick from. I think they can pick a lot of cool characters from DC instead of spending all their time with guest characters. I'm not saying I don't want any guest characters, but you know, two or three is good enough because we can get a lot more cool DC characters for this DC game. Uh, as Ed Boon said, it's a novelty thing, and well, novelty will wear off if you overuse it. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, this has been Necrophemus. See you later. Let's see how he likes the Kamehameha!